is everyone tonight? Um, just to hit in this screen over here, we're going to see if it will do anything. Yep, there it goes. Hey, hey. I knew I had a phone on somewhere tonight. I always do, right? <laughs> hi, Jean. Brenda, Sue. Well, hi, Sue. Jean. How are you on tonight? I've got special guests in my house or my crafting lair tonight. And it was such a huge surprise. My daughter and granddaughter um, came in about an hour ago. And I had no idea they were coming, guys. And I was just tickled, tickled pink. So anyway, they're in the background. And they're going to be my cheerleaders tonight. Hi, Dale. So tonight what we're going to do is a lemon wreath. This is a kit that's in my shop, if anyone out there is interested. It comes with a 7-9 sign. It comes with um, each one of these ribbons, uh, two and a half plaid, two and a half lemon, uh, one and a half green polka knot, and a yellow. Five yards of each. The sign, the wreath form, and everything. Thank you. Yes, it was. Hey, KP. I'm wonderful tonight, guys. Wonderful, wonderful. What I also wanted to show y'all tonight is an easy way to um, wire your... This is a 24-inch wreath form. I mean, a 14-inch. I'm sorry. And I wanted to show y'all. Y'all are always asking me how I wire it. And I'm going to show you an easy way to do that, okay? Because I'm always telling y'all that it's Oh, four and a quarter inches apart. So what I like to do is I like to start on my inside and see where um, this ring, where the, you know, it's got one, two, three, four, and then it's got one, two, three, four, five, six brackets. I'm going to go here at the brackets and I'm going to go this one, two rings. I'm going to go here, pull my pipe cleaner up and get it even. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to, going to pull it snug. And I'm going to go around each um, on this one. Then I'm going to go straight across from it. And I'm going to tighten it down there. Hi, Tina. Okay. And now what I'm going to do, since these are across from each other, I'm going to go on these brackets right here to make it to where we're cutting it in quarters here. And just pull it a little snug, come right across here. Whoops, I went on the wrong side, God. Well, look at me. We haven't gone to the outside yet. Let me fix these two. We're still working on the inside, God. And I went to the outside right quick. Here I was just so proud. <laughs> what do you know? So let me tie these, same thing, bracket to bracket across from it. And then across, turn it sideways and split it in half going the other way. And now I'm going to go around and eyeball and put a pipe cleaner halfway between this pipe cleaner and this pipe cleaner. And this is going to give us eight on the inside. If you want to, you can measure them. I find this is just as easy. And it doesn't take long to build you a uh, put all your pipe cleaners on to make it a working form. Oh, thank you. If y'all want to all, um, sprinkle a little love for me, I would appreciate it. Just helps my channel grow, guys. Okay. So now we've got all of these on on the inside. So I'm just going to lay them flat on the inside. 
Now to do the outside, in the outside we're going to put 10, okay? So where I went with the, um, with on the bracket ones, I'm going to turn it to where one's on the right and one's on the left. Let me see. No. Pardon. Where these brackets are, I put here and here. I'm just going to go ahead and put a pipe cleaner on each of the lower brackets. Okay. Turn it around. This is on the outside, guys. Okay, now we've got it in halves. So this means we've got two pipe cleaners. Now what I'm going to do is just eyeball it and go about, and I'm gonna put four here and four here. And that's all you have to do. And I'm just eyeballing them. And these come out to be about four, four and a quarter, four and a half, somewhere around around there on each one of these. And it makes it really easy and very fast. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Carolyn. Oh, were you? Yeah, I don't think I've um, posted this sign yet. I'm going to when I get off this live. I didn't think about that until after. And this is a 7-9, and it'll also come in a 8-10, um, um, 8 by 10. Hey, Patricia. Hi, Myrna. Or is that Marina? It's Myrna, isn't it? Okay, see? Myrna, yeah. See how fast that was to get that frame done? Hi, Carrie. I'm doing fantastic. So that's all it took. And I'll promise I will do just a short video on this and post it on my page. And that way, y'all can just have that by itself, okay? And I'll take it a little slower. And these rest of these pipe cleaners will be for the bows. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's get our sign together. For y'all that are just getting on here, here's the sign for tonight. Home sweet home. Okay. Hi, Patty. So I'm going to take a little bit of this um, <clears throat> DAP Rapid Infuse. Oh, thank you, Carrie. Yeah, he's a stinker. Yeah. And for y'all that just jumped on, my daughter surprised me today. Thank you. And her and my granddaughter come down for spring break. My grandson and her husband didn't get to come. But I was just, I was just so excited. I mean, I was like really excited. It doesn't take much to get old Nana here going. Hi, Miss Ashley. You're going to buy that sign? Okay. Let me, when I get off the live, I'll make sure I've got it on my, uh, in my shop. This is a gorgeous sign. Um, the glue I got from Walmart. You can buy the Rapid Infused glue at Walmart. And the little ties here, I buy mine by the hundred um, or a thousand count bag at um, on Amazon. But you can pick them up at Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, and even um, like Harbor Freight has them. Yes, it was a very nice. I know you. It's so sweet. 
Oh, I just loved it. There we go. There's the sun one more time. And tonight we're going to be using, with this kit, you also get two rolls of the, the Deco 10 inch, um, 10 yards wide. And this is called a light yellow with iridescence. What that means is, is it's got like a glitter in it, it's like it shines, but it's not that really thick glitter. It's just got that, it just gives it a sparkle, and I love it. Let's see if I can find my rock. No, she didn't. My daughter's here talking on the live. Her name is Jessica. So I'm just rolling this under three times, guys. I cut these pieces to 32 inches. 32 inches. Rolling them under three times. This is a nice, well-bodied mesh. And I just love this yellow. It's not a two-in-your-face yellow. I'm gonna start on the outside and bring it up. And, hi, Joanne. Hey, Jess D. Hello, hello. There we go. 10 yards per row, yes. And if you want the wreath kit, they're in my shop on Etsy, Desert Wreath Creations. But I will be listing this sign. I normally already have it listed, and I don't think I've got this one listed. Okay. Just gonna pull back this one with this hand. I'm gonna push it in here, pull it up, tighten it down really good, and I just twist it a couple of times. And I'm putting the curl side up tonight, the curl side up. It's a gorgeous mesh. It's a nice Easter mesh too, guys. You're so welcome, Roxanne. I listed um, two other kits today, and I, I, um, it is yummy. Thanks, um, Ashley. Hmm, it wouldn't let me pin it. Don't know why it does that sometimes. And for you guys on YouTube, I'll put the, the link in the description after the live, if you're interested. Oh, you already pinned it, thank you. Yeah, I see it now, Miss Barnes. So I'm just rolling it three times. This is called a woodland ruffle. gorgeous mesh. I like how it feels. Not like that the other night. <laughs> you can use a wood burner on this mesh. Yes, ma'am. My making you want a lemon drop. <laughs> that does sound good. I like lemon. I do. Yes, I do use a wood burning tool on certain mesh. I didn't this tonight, but you can use a wood burning tool on this type of mesh. This is just called a um, deluxe full iridescence. Iridescent. What's up, KP? Hey, Miss Wrigley. Come on in and say hi, doll. Don't be shy now. 
Gotta give Connie a hard time. Hi Paula, how are you tonight? Thank you so much. Glad you got to jump on. So I'm just spreading them out, button them up against each other. Oh, she's not going to make too much noise. My granddaughter left the roof. She's afraid she... Hi, Ed... Edna. No, she wanted to know how many wreaths you're going to take home with you, baby girl. Oh, I was tempted to say, I want this one and this one and this one. I, have, I definitely have a couple of them in mind, that's for sure. <laughs> She was, was out there eyeing a bunch of them, guys. Well, I, was, I posted that in person, they're so different. Yeah. You look at them on video, and, I mean, they're beautiful, but once you see them in person, they're so full and vibrant. I've, <laughs> not just because it's my mom, but I've never seen wreaths that are of higher quality or as high of quality she's, as these are. She's my new campaign manager, guys. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, definitely. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, there. She's got some really, really nice ones, guys. That makes my heart feel good, guys. Oh, it's, they're, they're gorgeous. I remember when I first started doing this, my daughter goes, Whatever, Mom, what made you decide to do this? Mm -hmm. And I said, Well, I like it. <laughs> I really like it. Then, when I started turning it into a business, she says, well, what made you decide to go back to work? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That was my daughter talking, right? <laughs> yeah. I think they've already got a carload of wreaths to take back home with them. Oh, <laughs> That's why I didn't pack extra shoes. I knew I would have some wreaths to take home with me. You know, it is sad that I've never made my daughter a wreath, but I've made my granddaughter some. It's okay. That's how it is when you have grandchildren. <laughs> Hi, Pam. Ontario. Near Niagara Falls. Well, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. Hello to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoy yourself. For everyone that's new, if you wouldn't mind um, giving my page a like or a follow, I sure would appreciate it. We're making a lemon wreath tonight, and I'm Carol. Um, Desert Wreath Creations, guys. And we are doing a lemon ruffle. Lemon ruffle. <laughs> a lemon wreath with the woodland ruffle. Oh. And I have my daughter here with me tonight from New Mexico. And my granddaughter. Just pull them up to the side, guys. I just, it's just habit. Once you um, have been doing these for a while, you just pull it to the side. Pull it down tight, spread them around. These are going to be so pretty. So now we're on our last one on the bottom. Hi, Flo. You just finished the lemon wreath? I bet it's gorgeous. Wants 
to know how old Caleb is. Um, my granddaughter is 13. Going on 25. Yeah, going on 25, her mom said. <laughs> Remember that age, guys? <laughs> if you ever had girls or boys, <laughs> they're both like that. They start getting that mind of their own, which is fine. <laughs> Thank you guys, thank you. You remember those days? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this time I'm gonna spread this one and I'm gonna come over here and pull these two apart and spread them, okay? That's what we've got so far. This mesh is very thick. Oh, sprinkled stars. Oh, how sweet, thank Brenda, you. Thank you very much, Brenda. That helps me keep bringing more and more content for you guys, and I dearly appreciate it. Okay, so I've got all of those pulled apart and ready to go. And we're going to go on to the next one. And... We're going to repeat the same thing. I know this is the monotonous part, but I like having the time to visit with you guys. So what have y'all been up to? I want to tell you guys, yesterday, here we go again, y'all know my pet peeve, weather. 90-something degrees here yesterday. I had to bite my tongue to keep from turning on the air conditioner. Got up this morning, it's in the 30s, and freezing to death. What's up? Hi, Miss Janie. No, you're never late, doll. It's cold there again? Yeah. Okay, so this time I'm spreading the outer from this inner one and just pulling these up and keep going around it. Making a wreath. Awesome, Susan. Oh, thank you, Linda. That's darling. This is your first time, Edna? Well, welcome. Georgetown, Kentucky. Welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy yourself. Hi, Joanne. Okay, we're going to come to the inside again. I'm just sort of pulling this back, pushing this one over to the side. It way down in there and pull on it real tight. Oh, thank you guys. 32 inches, Janet. I cut it at 32 inches and I'm doing a woodland ruffle with three curls on each end. There we go. Dorothy. 32 inches, Dorothy. You're welcome. If y'all have any other questions, fire away. I've got 18 ties on this, 10 on the outside, 8 on the inside. How special is that, Pat? Okay, let's put this one in. I don't think you can see it on camera, but the sparkle that's actually in that mesh is gorgeous. Oh, yes, doing great, Jesty. How are you? 
The mesh is gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, it is a pretty mesh. My daughter was just saying how pretty this mesh looked on camera. Well, it, does, it doesn't show so much on camera, but in person. Oh, it doesn't show so much on camera. Oh, yeah, it's just glistening. But here, yeah, yes, here it it's really, really glistening. Yes, I, about, yes, I did use nearly two rows. I only had about a quarter of an inch left. You don't really have to ruffle. Use a 32 inch. You could get by with doing a, uh, this mesh is so nice that you could get by with using one roll, like we did that one night, and do poofs all the way around the frame, and then cut you um, some eight inch curls, and put a curl in each tie, and you would be fantastic. Oh, thank you, Pat. So much for the stars. Thank you, thank you, guys. Or you could um, just do 20 inch ruffles and save a, you know, save a roll if you bought the kit. Or if you were just making this um, by itself, this mesh is just really nice. very thick which makes it look very full and usually you don't get this kind of coverage with yellows you like the look of 32 yeah and I always save um, let me see I've got about this much left on each row because I cut them simultaneously and what I do is I save these and when I'm wanting some accents and another wreath I'll just throw in some curls here and there of a different color of that yellow. So I, I put it to use. So how are all of my friends over there on YouTube tonight? Y'all doing good? If you have any questions, pop them in there. Okay, there it is. Whoops, still have one over here. I'm throwing them every which way. Over my shoulder in the floor. No. <laughs> That's the truth, isn't it, Patty? Yeah, supplies have gotten outrageous. If you're lucky enough to find them in stock before it's too late for that season. Now I always knew why I was a hoarder. <laughs> oh. Gas. Oh my God, gas. And you know, guys, I live uh, in the country, right? So I have to drive quite a bit to go to town. So I try to coordinate, you know, if I've got things to ship with things to buy. <laughs> this is a, it's called an iridescent metallic. Um, it's just a, a light yellow deco mesh. It's got the wide full iridescent strip in it. And my daughter was making the comment sitting back here behind me that the iridescence really didn't show up much on the screen, but how much it really showed up um, here sitting in front of me, and it does. It just sparkles. It's really pretty. That's okay, Brenda. Um, what I use if I'm going to cover them, and the only time I do cover the back of my frames, hi Juju, 
is I use, I get the placemats from like the round ones. You can get them from like um, the Dollar Tree. You can get them from Ross. You can get them from Walmart. And I attach them with zip ties, little tiny zip ties, all the way around it. The next thing is what you can do is you can buy felt on the bolt, oh, off the bolt, like at um, Hobby Lobby or Joann's, and keep uh, a, a neutral color that um, you could cut out, put your wreath frame down there, and cut around the outside of the wreath frame, or mark it, then cut it, and then attach that with zip ties by just inserting like a little hole with an ice pick or an awl. Hi, Janet. I am located in Del Rio, Texas. That's Southwest Texas. And I am so glad you found me, Janet. I am live here um, every Monday and Saturday at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time and every Wednesday at 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. You're in Arizona. Oh, okay. But are you on um, Central Time, Janet? I, or are you on... I don't know how that time zone works going that way. I can't remember. I know they don't do the... Yeah, backwards and forth. Right. Yeah. Okay, guys. I got a little bitty deal right there. And that is... I cut this all with a rotary cutter, and that was that was the only little straggler I had. Oh, well, you should have stopped by, Juju. An hour behind Central? Oh, okay. Okay, so like it's... Um, it's 7.30 here. It's 6.30 there. Gotcha. Nice. So that's what we have. Look at that. That is a pretty, pretty yellow. Y'all don't change time, yeah. Unfortunately, we do, and we get all messed up. Well, hi from Ohio, Janie. Yes, Janie. Um... Janie Harris, this is my daughter. She surprised me today and came in with my granddaughter. So, oh, you're so welcome. Welcome, welcome. My name is Carol, and this is Desert Reef Creations, and I call this my garage crafting lair, guys. Yeah, y'all change times. Okay, for the ribbons, I went over these earlier, but I'm going to go over them again. And I've got that one turned upside down. I don't know why. So, I'm pairing, I've got this really lovely. This is a plaid ribbon, black, green, and white. And I'm putting a solid yellow with it. Then, I've got this beautiful lemon. And this lemon has the the green and white check um, gingham in the background with the lemons on top and I'm pairing it with a darker green with the, um, it's sort of an off-white to me, it's, I think they call it a white when I bought it, one and a half inch um, it's got the different polka dots oh, thank you Juju thank you so much Okay, so let's get started. I cut the ribbons to 12 and a half inches. And like I said, this is a kit if anyone is interested. The link's posted um, pin below. And I cut these to 12 inches, folding them in half. And then I just ruffle them up the middle. And I like to pull mine forward. It just sort of helps them do better. I just start out with any random tie. And I like to use my pointer finger to hold those ribbons in to get them down in there really tight. 
So we are not going to be using these leftover pipe cleaners. So I'm going to take them and nip them. Then what I do, guys, is I take this um, pointed and I hold my ribbon and I tuck that back and behind my ribbon. That helps hide that pipe cleaner in the middle of your ribbon and helps your ribbons lay just a little bit better. So let's get one more set of ribbons in and I'll show you what the lip ribbons are going to look like. Hi, Elga. Do you put a ribbon on every pipe cleaner that you have? Yes, I do. Okay. I, I put a ribbon on every pipe cleaner. I know um, I've heard of some people that d d don't put one where their um, bow is going to go, but I always have. That's just, I think that's just a preference thing. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't think that really matters. Well, hi, Susan, and welcome to my page. I'm glad you stopped by. Susan asks, what size are your ribbons? My ribbons are 12 inches, and I'm using a 2 and a half and a 1 and a half on each tie. In just a second, I'll show you what these look like tied into the mesh. Maybe I will. <laughs> right there. That one doesn't want to mind me tonight. There we go. See how the greens? It's going to be really pretty. You can just go ahead and throw that one in the back of my car too, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter says she's taking it home. Sorry. Just kidding, guys. Oh, thanks, Debbie. That's so sweet. Guys, y'all are always so kind to me. And I enjoy y'all so much. Just folding them in half. Like I said, they're 12-inch ribbons. Cut to 12 inches. Your daughter does that too. <laughs> I know, right? That's okay. She can take whatever she wants. Shoot. Cha ching. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's too funny, Janie. <laughs> Yours too. <laughs> that was Alexa answering your questions. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that is funny. Hi, Anna. And here I thought my day started off bad. Doesn't get much better than this, guys. My daughter here crafting with you guys. That makes it even more special. I'm not crafting. I'm just learning. My daughter's learning. This is a whole new art to me, and I am mesmerized being able to finally see it in life. <laughs> my daughter, since I've been doing this, hasn't been able to come down with two teenagers and they're active. Mm -hmm. It's been really hard. Their vacations are like baseball tournaments or football tournaments. 
Oh, thank you for the stars, Janie. That is so sweet. Aww. I bet you Karen is living it up in Florida. I'm so glad she got to go visit. <laughs> Does she, Debbie? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, they've got to have one for every season. <laughs> every season. Oh, yes. My husband bought me a little shed to where I could put my extra things in and he was saying that it was too full already so I don't want to tell him what I'm coming home with until I actually get home. <laughs> I'm sure y'all ladies know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sure if he's got anything in your shed, you could take it out. Oh, man, I know. I know. <laughs> he calls it my shed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's the case. <laughs> she is. She is sneaky one, huh? <laughs> she, she learned that from Mama. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know how when you, um, you've got stuff in your car... But you wait till your husband goes to work before you bring that new craft supplies in. That's me. <laughs> Hi, Shirley. That way, you, they don't ever know, I know that it was hiding out in your car. And if they notice yes. it, you can say, oh, that old stuff? Yeah. I bought that last year. It was just in the closet. <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> you have too many. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can't ever pass up good. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Those are some really good comments, guys. <laughs> oh, great. Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> Side door, family door. <laughs> yeah, the, the FedEx boxes are hard to do when they're retired, I tell you, in the UPS. Yeah, my husband, <laughs> I tell them to, to drop them off at my door out here, and sometimes they go knock on the front door, and I'm like, oh, crud. <laughs> Did you really have to go leave them at the front door? A doorbell with a camera on it. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Found your Easter stash. Sims. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's easy to do there, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Guys, I think I've um, been working as fast as I can to get around this reef. <laughs> and I think it's getting bigger the more I go around it. <laughs> I know we do, don't we? Oh. You know, I'm one of those. Well, I don't, I don't think I would do this, but I tell everybody I would, you know. If I seen someone looking at something I'd already looked at, I'd run over there and grab it right quick because I hadn't made my mind up yet. No, <laughs> I've never done it, but <laughs> it reminds me of all of those uh, what are, Black Friday sales where you see people get in fights. <laughs> That's just hilarious.
Yeah, when my husband says, oh, that's pretty, honey, but did you need three of them? <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> Went and got some groceries, yeah. Mine just says now, how, where all did you go today when you were in town? <laughs> and I said, to the grocery store, and he, he's already known better now. He goes, yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> Yes, I will. The, the video never goes away. It's always here on Facebook, and it's always on YouTube. I do not take them down. It's always here. And like I said, this is a kit in my shop, and if that is why, if you decide to purchase the kit, I always have a link um, with the, uh, it's a little scannable link with your phone where you can find the, the live I did on it a lot easier. But if not, and you want to try making one similar to it, that, that um, this live is, will be here. Okay, guys. All the way around, finally. All the way around. Now let's put some on the top part. <laughs> you did. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Where are you going to put it? Well, I've already taken, I've got this garage. And this was the small garage that when we bought this house, it was a fixer upper. And this was the only garage that it had. Well, my husband, you know, had to have a big garage. So he built this like 1,800 square foot. It's, I'm probably exaggerating when I say that size. And, you know, and all of this. Well... He's been so kind to let me have half of it, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I sort of started taking it little by little. <laughs> and then um, it sort of grew outside the boundaries that he gave me. And I thought it was really nice of him. To suggest I get some new shelving. He thought, he told me one day, he goes, he goes, I think that right there, another one of those shelves will fit. Um, or you might could get two in there. I said, oh, thank you, baby. So, of course, when I went to get them, I bought two shelves. He said, you got two? I said, you thought two would fit. <laughs> So, I'm just crisscrossing these over on the top. Get these in and we'll get our cute little sign on. <laughs> you go, Carrie. You're my type of girl. Shoot, y'all have to have a place to where when you find the, the supplies to put it, as difficult as it is. <laughs> Carrie's from Australia. Oh my gosh. I love accents from any state, any region, any anything. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I am so drawn by an accent. So I'm just pulling these apart. And curling them over. To where you have that on the top, guys. Boy, on camera, that lemon wreath just sort of blends in. It doesn't in person. Oh, no. In person, it is so bright and... 
It's I almost pretty. said fragrant. <laughs> My stash grew. <laughs> yeah. Well, I sell supplies too. So <laughs> that's what I keep saying. One part of it is for my, I try to keep mine separated out, like into Christmas, fall, things like that, for patriotic. And then the other part that grew was um, the supplies and all that I sell. And then this thing is, that, that yeah, that lemon ribbon is adorable. And this place inside here is stuffed to the max. This has basically got all of my personal ribbons and stuff in here. And, in which I sublimate my own signs. So I have a printer's. <laughs> I started out with a square hammer, square foot, double garage. Carol got me down to 200 square oh, foot. Oh, he busted just you. Just enough room for my boat. <laughs> Guys, that's my husband, and he's storing. No. <laughs> he's just telling a wee bit of a fib. <laughs> oh, goodness, Carrie. I don't know about this. <laughs> like I do and say, but it was on sale. <laughs> I know he is, Elga. He is telling on me. That's okay. Y'all are my friends and y'all can relate. Right? Hey, I've heard so many fishing stories. <laughs> from him saying the big one got away. That's all, the only reason he's got these little ones to bring home. <laughs> these little fish. <laughs> yeah, you do the same, Janie. <laughs> oh, this is looking pretty. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, Laughter does good for the soul, guys. Good for the soul. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, Gary. <laughs> that's right. Because that's usually what happens. You know, if I just buy one instead of three, they don't have one when I need another one. <laughs> Here we go. We've nearly got... Need that today. <laughs> Oh, goodness, yes. Can't wait. I use the Easy Bow Deluxe um, Veneta. And thank you. I'll show you that bow maker in just a second. We're going to get ready to make us a fabulous bow. And if you're in need of one, I have them in my shop. Bows are, I think, the hardest thing to make. No, 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 no. Well, and without a bow maker, if you just want to try to make them by yourselves, yeah, a lot of people still do beautiful hand bows. Oh but. man, it's like saran wrap. I, I will be, <laughs> I will be entwined with the ribbon before I can make a decent bow. <laughs> Get more from me. <laughs> 
my state. <laughs> she said, and that's my story. Yeah. And you're going to stick to it, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> I don't blame you. Just about got it. A good, good crew on um, YouTube, also. You can't hold the ribbon, yeah. I have problems with that. I'm um, trying to teach myself a new way, and when I get it down, because I have a problem with my hands. I'm going to see if I can get it down and if it works, and if it does, I'm going to teach y'all. Oh, yes, we do. We have to stick together like glue. Okay. Last set of ribbons, guys. Like I said, it seemed like I've been going around this wreath. And it's getting bigger and bigger just to get the ribbons in it. Roxanne says, I only have six inches by five yard rolls of mesh in lots of colors. I can make bundles. How long do you suggest I cut them? Um, oh, I forget, Roxanne, that you've got a lot of the, the shorter rolls. Um, yeah, and you can make bundles. So, are you wanting to make bundles to make curls, curl bundles, and put um, two or three or four colors together? Thank you. So, there we got it. This is our lemon. This really, truly looks like a lemon lime wreath, doesn't it? And on the screen, it looks, here in person, it looks real yellow. Is it looking green for you guys? No, it's just on this one phone of mine. It does look like a, yes, curls. Um, I would suggest probably, um, thank you guys, to cut it um, 10, 10 inches, maybe. I would try um, to see how well it does with cutting it like at maybe 8 inches and see how well that curl gets. And if that steel doesn't feel thick enough to you, cut it 10 inches and experiment that way. Let's make a bow, guys. <clears throat> Let's bring our ribbons back in. Okay. So I'm going to start off with this plaid. Thank you. Thank you. Blending together on your screen. Yeah, I've got two phones going, and this one phone I've got, I'm looking at the comments with you guys. It looks like um, it's sort of an orangey green, I mean a yellowy green, but this one here, um, it's, it's true to color, so, and then I've got my tablet going too, and it's true to color, but guys, it is really pretty up close. Okay, so I'm going to make about a 12 inch. Let's make a 12 inch tail. I'm going to put it down here, right in between these, and I'm going to twist it really, really close to those pegs, real close. I keep a finger on the, the middle. I'm going to take this ribbon, I'm going to bring it in, and I'm going to do a six inch loop. I'm going to twist it really close. Then I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm going to bring it forward. I'm going to do another one, six inch. I'm going to twist it and I'm going to pull it away from me, guys, away from me, right there. I'm going to take another one. Six inch, twist. Go the opposite way. Six inch. Right there. 
fold it over and come out. Now all I'm going to do is while I'm holding it in the center, I'm just getting my tails out front and fluffing these loops on my bow, just like that, making a big X, okay? Then I'm going to take some of this yellow. going to bring it down to about the same length. I'm going to twist it, bring it down. I'm going to come right over here. Let's see. Get it twisted good. Leaving my finger right there next to the pegs. I'm going to come out here to the five, about a five and a quarter, right there. I'm just going to put a loop in the center. This bow is going to be a three, one, I mean a two, one, two, one, right there. A little bit over, a little bit over. <laughs> My daughter's dog's wanting mama or wanting out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's okay. You're no problem, though. Okay, now I'm going to bring back in this, um, This is so pretty. This lemon ribbon. And I'm working on an Easy Bow um, Deluxe. It's got the three pegs in it. The, the small peg is to make um, hair bows or smaller bows. I'm going to come down here to about the five. I'm going to twist it. I'm going to go up. <laughs> yes, he is, isn't he? My daughter's name. My, do my daughter's name. My daughter's little dog. <laughs> yeah, he's a stinker. And here we go here. We're going to twist it again. Of all names, his name is Cooter. Cooter Brown. Cooter Brown. Bring it here. We're going to make another one. Twist it. Bring it towards me. Make sure that's the right side. Fold it in half. Bring this tail straight on down. Just going to leave it longer for right now. And then I go back and I make sure all of my tails are, my uh, loops are fluff, even here in the center. Now we're going to bring in the green polka dot. Here we go. We're going to twist it. We're going to come down to about the, the four right here. And move it out of your way to get your measurement. And I'm going to push it off. We could have had plenty of ribbon to do four loops. I'm going to bring it down here and cut it off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in I've got that loop just a little long, guys. I'm going to bring this yellow. I only, I've got a little piece left. I'm just going to make a little short tail right there. I'm going to twist it. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make a little center loop for our bow. And I'm making it about two and a half inches. 
and I like to go ahead and twist it one more time, okay? And I know it's laying on the wrong side, but we're going to fix that, guys. You have four golden retrievers. Oh, Riva, Dare, Chili, Rav, Rava, Wish. One, two, three, four. Yeah, Shine, Dare, Chili, Rava, Wish. How cute is that? Okay, folded it in half. I'm going to bring it right here. He's okay, baby girl. Yeah, but if you unplug your camera, we're in No, trouble. my camera. He's not going to unplug the camera. Okay. okay. He's cool. Leave him alone. I'm sorry. So I'm just lifting this ribbon up off of this board here, the, rib the uh, bow maker. I'm going to take my fingers, two fingers, and I'm going to put them like this, but under all this gorgeous ribbon. Okay? I'm going to stick them way up under there. I'm going to take a finger on each side. Push it down to where I can catch it with my thumb. And I'm just going to pull this off. Then I'm going to poke this. Let's get that one in. Come right up here. Poke this one. And see how my hand is curved? And see these this um, pipe cleaner went in between those fingers? I'm going to come back here. I'm going to pull on that pipe cleaner a little bit. Let go of my thumb. Put it on top of the pipe, um, center of the pipe cleaner. I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to pull, pull, pull while pressing gently in the center until I start my twist. Then I'm going to take this and just twist my bow. And that tightens the center. Just be real careful not to over twist. Then all of our stuff is already fluff. If you've got a little tweak or something, this is your time just to go ahead and fix it. And right there, now we've got this center loop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here. It's on the wrong side, and it's turned upside down. So I'm going to take my thumb. I'm going to go way down in here, right next to that pipe cleaner. And I'm just going to twist it and bring it back and pull it to this other side. Okay, then I'm just going to spread this center loop out. Let's see. I didn't get it twisted good. There we go. So there is our bow. Just like that right there. There, I don't have it spread out the right direction. There we go. Okay, so then we'll put it on our... Let's get rid of this. Let's grab our <clears throat> sign. Put our pot cleaners on it and put it together, guys. Thank you. The colors are very complimentary, guys. They are. Thank you, Treva, very much. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I'm getting all these pipe cleaners into these where we put that um, DAP rapid infused glue on this, on the sign. You can't put hot glue and then put these um, tabs on, these cable mounts, because it will not hold. Um, when you put hot glue onto aluminum, let it dry and then take your fingernail and this is going to brush right off, guys. Okay. So let's put our sun right about. Let's sort of turn it. These just a little bit. I'm confusing myself, guys. I don't need to be doing that. Yeah, we're gonna put it right there. 
Let me get my handy dandy darning needle, needle weaving needle. And then we're going to stick that down in there. With each one of my kits, I send a weaving needle along with it. This is a thank you. It's not much, but it's something I like to use. And boy, since I've got a custom to use, <laughs> that's what I like now. It's a good idea. Mm-hmm. I would have never thought about that. I would have tried to think it, through everything mm -hmm. just with the the pot cleaner. Yeah. So the way I used to do it oh, is idea. to go like right down through here. Yeah. Push it through the mesh. Fit and try to find it from the bottom. No, that's a great idea. Mm-hmm. But you can still do it. Oh yeah. It just um is a pain in the butt. <laughs> Oh, you're so welcome, Miss Janie. Thank you, guys. Y'all are my true heroes. Okay. Oops. Let's get that one. That needs to be right there. I'll go right down in here. See, I still got it. Seems like it alleviates that. It does. They, they get snubbed. The inevitable, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more time. We'll put that gorgeous bow on here. Fingers are chubby. This is the hard part. Now all the colors pop. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, they do, don't they? Okay. And just pull your ribbons out and around it. Now let's put our bow on. Let's take our ties. Let's take them right here. Let's fold our little weaving needle and I'm going to come oops got stuck all the way up here to the top take mine and I hold it making sure I don't have any loops under it guys like I did right there don't pull it down too snug that it um, gets sunk but you want to pull it down to where it's going to lay nice We'll pull some of these tails over to the side so we can see our sign. Hi, Alex. Thank you. Okay. One more time. Oops. Now 
can tie this on. I should have did a lemon lime wreath. <laughs> lemon lime sign, but this sign is perfect. Perfect, perfect. And I'll get this list of the sign by itself in the shop. Just pulling these. Now let's dovetail. I know I've got a yellow one, one yellow one too. Thank you, thank you, guys, very much. Hi, guys. I'm Carol. For you that, that um, so when you see this mug again, <laughs> y'all know who I am. But it turned out gorgeous, I think. Beautiful bow. Whoops, I always turn these the wrong way. Home sweet home. There you go. Just like that right there. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, oh thank you, Roseanne. Um, I will be live. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank y'all. Get my hands off to you guys. Y'all are so special to me. And I just thank y'all each and every day for all this love and support that you give me. And um, it means the world to me. So um, I will be live Wednesday night and now it's at 6 p.m. Um, um, Central Standard. Okay, Johnson. Oh, thank you, Kay. Thank you, Alex, Pam, Vanetta. Y'all are all so, so, thank you so much, guys. My YouTube family is sending out um, thanks and, and everything, so. Okay, guys, I'm going to go spend some time with my daughter. And the, <laughs> and the thank real family. And the real family. Thank you all. Y'all have a great day. Great night. And my and my granddaughter. <laughs> hi. Hi. Yes, she is. She's gorgeous. She takes after her mama. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go visit and um, with my granddaughter and daughter, 